Thank you for purchasing our product. We are sure you will be glad you chose our machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply His machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you use the foot control, turn the foot control upside down and open the cover. Insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plugs into the machine and a power outlet. Turn the power switch on. After using the foot control, store the cord under the base cover of the foot control. Machine operating buttons. The machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start Stop Button Press the Start Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note however, that the Start Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button while the machine is running will slow down the machine, and it will stop when the button is released. Reverse button The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed, when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold down this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock button when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle up down button. Press this button to raise or lower the needle. Thread cutter button. Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. The needle and presser foot will automatically rise after trimming the threads. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick threads or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the face plate. Presser Foot Lifter Button The presser foot will go up or down by pressing this button. You can also raise or lower the presser foot manually with the presser foot lifter.
you can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you to change the needle plate or place thick fabrics under the foot. The knee lifter is useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, etc., since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. See the instruction manual for more information. Speed Control Slider The Speed Control Slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, Shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Raise the retractable thread guide bar. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and secure the spool with the spool holder. Pass the thread through the guide on the thread guide bar from behind. Hold the thread with both hands and pass the thread around the thread guide. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Hold the thread with both hands and wind it around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder stopper to the left. Press the bobbin winding button. The visual touch screen will show the bobbin winding sign. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop spinning and the bobbin stopper returns to its original position automatically. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertips so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide path marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. Insert the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the retractable thread guide bar. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and secure the spool with the spool holder. Pass the thread through the guide on the thread guide bar from behind. Pass the thread through the right thread guide. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it under the thread guide plate. Pass the thread through the left thread guide. Draw the thread along the right channel.
while holding the thread at the spool, pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. Pass the thread through the slit of the needle threader. Be sure that the thread passes under the hook. Pull the thread up. Slip the thread between the thread cutter and the face plate. Pull the needle threader knob down as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. Drawing up the bobbin thread. After using auto thread cutting or threading the bobbin holder, you can start sewing without drawing up the bobbin thread. However, you need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches, etc. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertips so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide path mark 1. Leave a 4 inch tail of bobbin thread. Insert the hook cover plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Hold the needle thread lightly with your left hand. Press the needle up down button twice to lower and raise the needle and pick up the bobbin thread. Pull both threads 4 inches under and behind the presser foot. Replacing the presser foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot with a foot lifter. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the foot holder. When using the dual feet feet, darning foot, etc., you need to replace the foot holder. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot with the foot lifter. Loosen the set screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot holder to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the set screw with your fingers.
push the dual feed link to engage with the upper feed driver. Lower the foot with the foot lifter. Lower the needle by turning the hand wheel. Tighten the set screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Raise the needle and the foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the needle plate. Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch and sewing with the dual feet foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Press the needle plate release key and the needle plate will automatically snap off. A message will appear warning that the needle plate is not secured. Remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Insert the left edge of the straight stitch needle plate into the opening and attach the needle plate. Check to make sure that the confirmation message appears. Lower the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Ordinary sewing. Selecting patterns. When turning the power switch on, the visual touch screen will show straight stitch of the utilities stitches category has been selected. In the ordinary sewing mode, there are seven categories available. Press one of the tabs to select the category. Utility stitches. Buttonhole and specialty stitches. Decorative and quilting stitches. Monogramming. Tapering. Hand stitch style. Sewing applications. Let's select the satin stitch pattern number 4 in the decorative and quilting stitches category. The satin stitch pattern number 4 has been selected. Altering stitch length and width. You can alter the stitch length and stitch width. To alter the stitch length, turn the stitch length adjusting dial. Or, press the plus or minus key. Press the default key to return the settings to the default values. To alter the stitch width, turn the stitch width adjusting dial. Or, press the plus or minus key.
Press the default key to return the settings to the default values. For straight stitches, you can move the needle draw position by turning the stitch with adjusting dials or pressing the plus or minus key. Adjusting Thread Tension His machine is programmed to provide the optimal thread tension for the selected pattern. However, you can make adjustments to suit your specific sewing needs. Press the Adjust key to open the manual setting window. Press the plus or minus key to adjust the thread tension. Press the default key to return the settings to the default values. Press the close key to close the manual setting window. Adjusting foot pressure. The presser foot pressure is automatically optimized for each stitch pattern. However, you can make adjustments to suit your specific sewing needs. Press the adjust key to open the manual setting window. Press the plus or minus key to adjust the thread tension. Press the default key to return the settings to the default values. Press the close key to close the manual setting window. Auto thread cutting. To cut the threads after sewing, press the thread cutter button. The machine trims the threads, then the needle and presser foot move up automatically. When you turn on the auto thread cutting option in the sewing setting mode, the machine trims the threads automatically after the locking stitches are finished. Dropping the feed dog. Press the set mode key. Press the sewing setting mode key. Press the down position key. To raise the feed dog, press the up position key. Turn the hand wheel to raise the feed dog. Button holes. There are various styles of button holes available. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine-tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot lifter. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off.
Place the buttonhole foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the buttonhole foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle into the starting point by turning the hand wheel. Lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Cut the threads. Advanced Sewing Techniques Programming a Pattern Combination You can program stitch patterns as well as letters to make a pattern combination. Press the Decorative and Quilting Stitches tab and press Decorative. Press the Program key so you can program the pattern combination. Select Pattern ID. Press the Monogramming tab and press Block. Select Uppercase Letter A. Select uppercase letter B. Press the decorative and quilting stitches tab and press decorative. Press the mirror image key. Select pattern ID. Select the lock stitch. Start the machine. The machine will sew the pattern combination, lock off the stitches at the end and then stop automatically. Press the thread cutter button and the machine will trim the threads. Saving a pattern combination. The pattern combination and monogram can be saved as a file in the machine's internal memory or a USB flash drive. Press the Save File key to open the Save File window. The ORDF folder is shown. Press the built-in memory key or USB flash drive key to select the location to save the file. Open the folder. The file name is assigned automatically starting from number C001. If you wish to change the file name, press the Rename key to open the keyboard window. Enter the new name and press the OK key. Press the OK key to save the design under the new name. Opening a pattern combination. When you press the Open File key, the Open File window appears. Press the built-in memory key or USB flash drive key to select the location. Open the folder. Open the pattern combination. Customizing the machine settings. You can customize the machine settings in the setting mode. Press the set mode key to enter the setting mode. There are three setting modes, machine setting mode, Sewing setting mode and language selection. For example, let's customize the needle stop position. Press the sewing setting mode tab to open the sewing setting mode window. Press the up position 
To activate your custom settings, press the OK key. Care and Maintenance Replacing the needle Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bend. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing to the back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the hook area It is recommended to clean the hook area and the automatic thread cutter device at least once a month. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Press the needle plate release key and the needle plate will automatically snap off. Turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Remove the needle and the presser foot. Remove the bobbin and the bobbin holder. Clean inside the bobbin holder and the bobbin holder holes with a lint brush. Wipe the bobbin holder both inside and outside with a soft cloth. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter device, sensor area and hook race with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook race with a cloth. Attach the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the bobbin holder is inserted properly. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and attach the needle plate. Insert the plug into the power outlet. Turn the power switch on to make sure a warning message does not appear. Attach the needle and press your foot. Wipe the machine body with a soft cloth. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.